What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I don't know why I was so loud there. I guess it's because it's another early morning. And I noticed in my last early morning vlog out and about video, my eyes like were just almost shut. Like I couldn't get them open. Uh, so I'm trying to open my eyes uh, because, guys, look, we're, we're, we're at a Walmart. We're at a Walmart right now. I will stop at nothing until I find this damn steelbook section at Walmart. So I'm at a different Walmart location that's a little bit out of the way. Um, but look, I'm going to check every single Walmart in my area. And hopefully at some point, I will find the steelbook section. Now, somebody messaged me and told me there was one like 50 minutes away from where I, where I live. I'm not down for driving that far out of my way, at least not right now. Uh, but maybe if I get desperate enough, guys. So yeah, we're at a Walmart. Let's go in there, see if we can find the steelbook section. And then after that, I may go to another random spot, location, thrifting spot, Goodwill, something like that to, to keep the video uh, interesting and fresh because maybe there's nothing in here. I, I don't know. I, I haven't been in this Walmart in, God, maybe like 15 years or so. So I don't even know what their movie section looks like. They could just have nothing. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm talking enough. Let's go into Walmart, see if they got that good steel action. Let's do it. All right, everybody. Walmart time. I can't wait. It's always a great time when you're going to the Walmart. All right, so I'm over here in the regular section, and I am seeing some new releases on the shelf, so that's a good sign. We do have the Wish 4K Steelbook, the Wish Blu-ray, got Aquaman, all the additions. Not seeing the Steelbook, though. Ferrari, the color purple, anyone but you. So, and this one doesn't have a slipcover. I wonder if the original release has a slipcover, Wonka, so some new stuff, so that's good to see. And I haven't yet seen these glow-in-the-dark uh, steel books, and they got slipcovers as well yet, um, but I am seeing the glow-in-the-dark steel book for Fast X, and also Battlestar Galactica, and we have the Fast and the Furious movies. Um, looks like they also do have Godzilla vs. Kong. To be honest, the only one I would want would be Dune, and I, I'm not seeing that one. Lethal Weapon, Fast and Furious, these are all DVD slipcover editions. Um, you got this Death Race collection. What is that? What movies are in here? Is that all the new Death Race movies? Back to the Future, that's pretty cool. These are all really cool, but again, DVD. A Blade 4 film collection. There's four Blade films? I thought there was only three. Blade House of... I don't even know what that one is. Is that like made for home video? Uh, Terminator. Oh, they have the Sarah Connor Chronicles. That's pretty cool. Do they even have a Blu-ray of this? That's actually pretty cool. Sarah Connor Chronicles. 20 bucks for that. Can't get that back in there. Batman, Spider-Man, Mad Max. So, some cool stuff. Holy crap, guys. I have found it. Now, I don't have a cool banner at the top that says Steelbook, but... These are all the newer steel books right here that I am seeing. We have Army of Darkness, which is older, but they do have the Children of the Corn. This is a 4K steel book. This is the newer Children of the Corn, right? That looks really cool, but I know that movie's not good. This one I'm, I actually might get um, because I don't have the Lost Boys sequels on Blu-ray, so this would be a cool way to get them. But, I mean, to be honest, I don't love this steel book, so maybe not. This is going to be hard to not walk out of here with because they do have the Creep Show Steelbook. I've already got Creep Show on 4K, but this Steelbook is freaking awesome. And I didn't think I would be able to see this in stores. Uh, but they got Anaconda, which I already have. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. That's a cool Steelbook, too. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, they got Prisoners of a Ghost Land. I'm just happy I finally found something, guys. <laughs> uh, Shivers. They got the Shivers Steelbook here. Uh, Carrie. Um, we got Street Fighter down here, which is an older Mill Creek Steel book. Equalizer 3. Kickboxer is here, guys. Um, I, actually, I was supposed to be getting these in from Lionsgate, and I haven't yet. So I might have to get this from here, to be honest. Um, Color Out of Space. I want Brawl and Cell Block 99 as well. God, because I love this movie. Um, Venom. Let There Be Carnage. Uh, the other Venom. They got Spider-Man No Way Home, which, like, this steelbook was way out of print, I believe, for a while, and people were paying big money for it. That just goes to show you that 
if a steel book goes out of print, just wait and it, it just might come back at some point and don't waste your money. This is $29.96. We got Gran Turismo here. We got the Rad Steel Book. It's a Mill Creek Steel Book. Dread, you got Red Dawn. I actually do need the Hacksaw Ridge Steel Book. I never bought that back in the day because I already had the 4K, so I don't know. Uh, Sonic Steel Book, Platoon, Magnificent Seven, Hell or High Water, Expendables, Hunger Games. We got Dragonheart, Little Monsters is down here as well. I, I definitely want this. Um, and uh, Rocket Man, I actually have that steel book. And Cross the Spider Verse, Mutant Mayhem. They still got a Mario steel book. So damn, guys, I finally found it. I finally, finally found it. And I am happy. Now, which steel book am I going to walk out of here? With today, maybe one or two, maybe none. I don't know, we'll see. They got a cool little Stranger Things section right here. A lot of Stranger Things stuff. You got a tie-dye kit. Um, you got a little Surfer Boy pizza van. Uh, I think that's a t-shirt set, snack and stream. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it's some Wednesday stuff as well. It's a nice little Netflix section. Uh, Hellfire Club, you got an LED figure lamp. Uh, they got some stuff for Rebel Moon. They got the vinyl, Stranger Things vinyl down here, which I do love the music in Stranger Things. And then you got a pillow, you got a book. So that's pretty cool with Eddie playing the guitar. And back to the movies. I don't think I showed this section yet, but they got uh, Silent Night on Blu-ray. No, no Silent Night Steelbook. I did kind of want that. Butcher's Crossing, Thanksgiving, on Blu-ray, Indiana Jones, Paw Patrol, we got the Trolls movie, so all the all the basic stuff. But guys, I'm just um, I'm just happy I found that steelbook section. Over here, I saw this. This was interesting. Um, the Walking Dead collection, the Blu-ray collections here. They also have a DVD collection, which, to be honest, like the artwork on this is really awesome too. But yeah, this is just DVD right here but i i didn't know that they had both a dvd collection of the walking dead and a blu-ray complete collection i also got fear of the walking dead but nobody cares about that show oh here's the saw collection they got that eastbound and down um they got a bunch of south park seasons walmart's a good spot to to uh to get some tv some television seasons they got the elf set down here that's just dvd um, that, I think Shout Studios put that out. That's definitely pretty cool. I keep thinking I'm done, but then I keep finding more sections uh, with movies. Now, this is mostly DVD, but they do have the John Wick uh, Blu-ray set up here. Includes four action-packed cards. They have the Expendables set, which just came out um, a couple of weeks ago. So you may or may not be seeing me do an unboxing of this pretty soon on the channel because I do have it. I just haven't showed it off yet. Um, Indiana Jones. This is a bunch of movie sets right there. I'm seeing Friday the 13th and Tremors and Nightmare on Elm Street on the bottom. Um, they got Talk to Me on Blu-ray down here. 1496 not a bad price for that. Last Voyage of the Demeter, Mission Impossible. You know what? This Walmart, they kind of delivered today. I'm happy about that. All right, guys. So that was uh, that was pretty cool. I finally found some steel in a Walmart. Now I know what my go-to Walmart is going to be from now on. I'll have to travel a little bit out of ways uh, to get what I need, but uh, I'm glad I found a, glad I found a Walmart with a steelbook section. I did pick one up. I got the Lost Boys trilogy steelbook. It's not the best steelbook, but to be honest, it's not a bad steelbook by any means. Um, but it's a good way to own all three of the Lost Boys movies. I, of course, got the first one on 4K, but I did want to see the sequels. I've, I've heard conflicting things about the sequels, and I do want to check out the sequels at some point. So I figured for 20 bucks, this is a cool way to own all of the Lost Boys sequels in one little set uh, right here. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's probably a cheaper option out there. I'm sure there's like a three-pack Blu-ray set or something like that, but I don't know. I, I, thought th I thought this was pretty cool and 20 bucks. It was worth it. I, I didn't get the creep show. I, I restrained myself on the creep show 4k steelbook. I don't need it. I wanted it, but I don't need it. I've got creep show on 4k in the collection. I don't have 
two of these movies in this set um, in the collection. And this was $10 cheaper than that Creepshay, for, uh, Creepshow, Creepshay, is that what I said? Creepshow 4K Steelbook. But you know what? If I come in here uh, two weeks later, three weeks later, and it's still sitting there, I'm going to consider that a sign and I'm going to pick it up. But all right, guys, I think I'm going to go to a, well, oh, hold on. There's one more thing I picked up that I didn't get to show off. Um, I got a t-shirt. I'll get some t-shirts in Walmart sometimes because I got some really cool shirts like that Nightmare on Elm Street shirt I got. That's from Walmart. That's a good shirt. Uh, but I did get a um, Godzilla shirt. They had a God, old school Godzilla. So I went ahead and grabbed me a Godzilla shirt in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that was only like eight, nine bucks, I think, for that shirt. But all right, let's 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 go to a Goodwill. I don't anticipate I'll be in there for too long. Last time I was at that Goodwill because um, I'd been to that Goodwill a couple times. This is kind of right down the street from the Best Buy that I used to go to a long time ago. So haven't been to this Walmart in a while because this wasn't my go-to Walmart, but I have been to this Goodwill recently within the past couple of years. It never has a lot, but maybe it will today. Let's go in and, and check it out. And if I get anything, I'll show it off. Let's do it. All right, here we go. The Goodwill. I mean, this Goodwill looks like super nice just the way it's set up. But like I said, it really never has anything. But hopefully that changes today. All right, so I actually found a few items in that Goodwill, um, and I'm excited to show these off. Let's get it out of the bag. I got three DVDs, three DVDs for three bucks. And uh, first up, I got The Village. I got M. Night Shyamalan's The Village because this notoriously does not even have a Blu-ray. So this only has a DVD. Now, maybe because this is a, I think it's a touchstone. Yeah, this is a touchstone picture. Maybe under Sony, it will get a Blu-ray. Maybe it'll get a 4K or something. I mean, it's an M. Night Shyamalan film, for crying out loud. Uh, but I didn't have this one in the collection, so I went ahead and got this on DVD. The only downside, it's full screen. And I, I, don't, uh, I don't know if I'm down for watching <laughs> this movie on full screen. Um, but at least I have it in the collection, and that's better than nothing. So I was happy to find that for just a dollar. It's got special features on there. And yeah, just happy to have it in the collection just in case this doesn't go beyond DVD. So I went ahead and got that. Uh, the next one that I got is a movie called Hide and Seek. And I think I saw this in the theaters back in the day and I don't remember loving it, uh, but it's got Robert De Niro, Dakota Fanning, 
Uh, it's widescreen, so at least this one's a widescreen. And I looked to, to see if this one had a Blu-ray, because I always do that, and it does, but it's $100 on Amazon, so it's out of print. Um, and this was also a 20th Century Fox film. So will Disney ever put this out? Sony, Disney ever put this out again on Blu-ray? I, I don't know, but now I have it in the collection, at least if I do want to rewatch it at some point. Um, and then I got uh, another one that does have a Blu-ray, but it's not out of print. It was just like $30, $35. And that is Rising Sun. And this one was still sealed. And this has Wesley Snipes and Sean Connery. And I feel like I've heard of this one before, but I've never seen it. And I'm like, you know what? I might be in the mood to watch a Sean Connery, Wesley Snipes team up action movie at some point. Um, that actually sounds like a fun night. So I, I, I went ahead and scooped this one up. And it's got the same, it's got Cassandra from Wayne's World. So that's enough to, is that her? That's her, isn't it? That's enough to sell me on a movie. I just watched True Lies in 4K. She's in that. Oh my God, she is so smoking. But anyway, guys, that's beyond the point. We are, uh, we, we went to Walmart. We're in the car right now. That's what I was going to say. Uh, went to Walmart. We went to Goodwill and I picked up some stuff and it was a cold trip. And I, you know, I'm glad I found the steelbooks. I will be going to this Walmart again if I want to find new steelbooks that Walmart's putting out. I'm just glad I found a spot. Um, didn't have that big banner at the top, so it's not official. doesn't feel as official as other people's stores, but I still, I still found the new steelbook section. So that was cool. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, for more future content. And, uh, you know, leave me a comment if you've been finding any steel books or what you've been picking up uh, down below. Or if you want to comment on anything that I did in this video, like the video, uh, follow me on my social media accounts down below in the description. And we'll see you next time.